Okay, good afternoon. This is for F1 KJH, and what I have here right now is an ICOM ICB100, and the owner of this unit was Delta United Four United Whiskey of Sarsagon City, and uh, this will be used for as an RX of the repeater. And uh, later on, I will show you the TX unit. But uh, right now, I would like to identify the trouble first of the unit. And I would like to take note that uh, this unit doesn't have a COR right now. And there is no attachment COR inside, even though on the outside layer. But I, I have already detached some wires on this unit. And uh, before I convert this to a repeater, I would like to check this first. So right now, uh, the trouble I can see on this unit was uh, there is no RX audio. Okay, so even though on the RX side, uh, by the way, I have already restored the connection at the back panel, uh, going to the speaker. Uh, jack speaker and this was connected here onto the external uh, speaker which is a boss speaker okay it's power on so even though on the rx okay settings of the volume is on the middle okay and then right now we will try to check the audio okay there is now the RX squelch, but there is no audio on the squelch portion. Okay, so even though uh, on the radio, I have already set the tone of this unit, the program tone, tone squelch. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so I have now the unit uh, for test equipment. Okay. So, uh, see, so we have a CT, okay, okay, so right now transmitting my portable, still no audio, one, two, one, two, so there is no uh, audio on this uh, unit, so I have to fix this first and uh, so that uh, we can use this as an RX side of the repeater and then after a while I will try to reconnect this to the signal generator so uh, to verify if uh, this unit has a good RX and good for uh, uh, repeater setup so uh, just hang on and stand by and uh, I will just have to clear my table here so that I can uh, put this unit for a uh, signal gen test on the RX side but uh, first we we'll have to fix the uh, the uh, audio section of this uh, unit so please stand by and uh, wait for another video or another countdown so, Pipe 1 KJ temporary signing off. Okay, um, good afternoon. This is uh, Pipe 1 KJ and uh, 
it's been a long while having to conduct a certain videos but uh, right now this is uh, part of the backlog from my workshop because uh, we're too busy on the past uh, few months due to the national election so right now I would like to give you a bird's eye view uh, for this unit, this is uh, the, the feature unit of Delta United Port, United Whiskey, uh, Engineer Raden Di Maano from Sorsogon City. And uh, this repeater, according to the Delta United Port, United Whiskey, this will be used for provincial uh, risk reduction uh, risk disaster risk reduction management okay. PDRMO <coughs> so they they would like to utilize this two unit into one repeater so we converted this uh, two unit as one repeater actually uh, we repair first the ICB 100 as uh, from the previous video, uh, previous video that uh, there is something wrong with the RX uh, from the CTCSS decoders, uh, decoders unit, and uh, some sort of uh, a little uh, modi modification on this part means uh, well, it's a previous damage. This B100. And we also repaired this uh, Yaesu FT2900. Uh, the transmitting side of this unit were intermittent. That's why uh, we're having a consuming time to convert this repeater. So as you can see, to introduce first, that uh, we have to take the second camera to, to look on the closer look rather than on this uh, uh, per camera one okay I'll have to set my uh, my unit uh, for, as for the second camera for the full view of this, uh, of this repeater system so uh, okay we will uh, open up the camera Okay. And uh, as you can see, I have a digital power meter right there. And uh, at the same time, the forward power, the reflected power, and the reading for the SWR. So that is the closer look of the digital meter. And for the repeater, this is an ICOM ICB100. Okay and a yes, Yaesu FT2900 so this unit were from uh, Sorsogon City to Engineer Raden Di Maano care of uh, Sir Dulce Espinola so uh, if you can see uh, we have channel radio here so you cannot identify the frequency of the split but uh, for the TX frequency, we will put, we will temporarily assign the 160.28, uh, that is temporary, to test this repeater for uh, a good proper condition. And it was already uh, well done as a repeater. So, uh, okay, I have a portable here and a monitoring side. If this will work, I'm using a Baupeng dual band right now to, to evaluate some uh, TX on the side. So, uh, I will not show to you the frequency, but the indicator of transmit, you will see the indicator of transmit. So, okay. Okay. So, before that, we will look onto for the uh, TX power of the transmit which is the, the ISO. 
So there will be no more intermittent on transmission. Okay. Okay. Setting up low. That is low. Okay. And the power output is 4.82. Okay, with no reflected power, with an SWR of plot 1 to my uh, dummy load. Okay, so as you can see for that. So, uh, we will try to change it to low 2. So, to verify the power for their selection for the repeater. So, low 2 is 8.55 watts with zero reflect and uh, SWR of 1.01 still minimal and uh, plus one so again we will uh, check for the another setting of the low low 3 for the FT2900 so let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that is 21 watts 21.2 watts with the uh, reflected power of 0 0.5 0 0.05 with an SW of still negligible up to 1.06 difference and yeah, still plus one okay so right now uh, we will go for a high power okay so, we will try to check that is 70 watts with a reflected power of 0.21 watts with an SWR of 1.08 so, watts. So, uh, still agreeable. So, we will try now the complete test of this repeater. We will count to uh, 20 if there will be an intermittent on the transmission. And likewise with the audio quality check. So we will return this to low power. Okay. For a better setting of this repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, we will release for the tail quality. So that is the quality of the tail. And the audio, as you can see, it's clear, loud and clear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so uh, at least... We have already perfected the uh, conversion of this repeater for PDRMO in uh, in uh, Charlestown City. So, if you have any suggestion or comment or inquiries, please do not hesitate to ask or visit my official website at uh, www.4f1kga.com. Good afternoon to all and 73. 5.1 KGA, signing off.